Okay, Mr. Gamma, let me see if I can do this with blues clues on the background. <laughs> and right before my son gets home, with because my husband's driving. Okay, here's what I really think. Um about about cheating. I I really do think that cheating rarely ever has to do with the relationship you have with the other individual. I think it has to do with um, trying to feel a certain way about yourself that you know that you used to feel with that person, you know, that they made you feel special in some kind of a way. And that because you don't feel that anymore, you seek it elsewhere. Um, and yeah, it's very common that that will be with someone who's like their best friend because it's like the best revenge, you know, it's like the most way to like be so, you know, to really drive the message home about how hurt you are, you know. Um, and I'm saying this as, from the fact that I am a <clears throat> serial cheater, okay? Um, not serial monogamous. No, I cheated on everybody. Like, really badly. <laughs> like, horrible. Like, <sighs> Gary's like the only person that I never cheated on. So, put it like that. Came close, but never did. Anyway. So, that's why I say that. <laughs> from my own experience. <laughs> But I think um, as far as the choices, you know, that you made or that you felt that you were only left with, um, you know, whatever she, you know, the situation provided for you, you know, you had kind of lesser of two evils at certain points, right? It sounded like. I have kind of a thing about, and it's sort of the combination of, Seek kind of ideas. I don't know if you know about Sikhism, but um, a little bit of Buddhism and some of the Japanese anime stuff. I think that ultimately, except where it's like righteous anger, okay, like when something's truly, truly right or wrong, I think that when it isn't and it's like questionable, that part of it has to do with here comes my kids that are my kid and my husband, um, that people are going to feel the way that they feel inside regardless of what's going on outside or around them. And that they're going to look for a reason to feel that way and the other person will provide that actually for that person to exercise out that experience and feel it and let go. Hello, honey. You wanna kiss? I'm making a video, but this you is a private time. Uh, <gasps> Yusuf sent me <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So kiss now, kiss later. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. To so try to fix this up really quick. So thank you, honey. Um. That being said, I think that it's there. It's presented to you to forgive ultimately. I mean, except where it's like totally wrong. Um, and that you know you can identify that other person as the one who did such and such to you, but that ultimately. Um, it's part of your life so that you can use it to let it go. The thing about, hey, sweetie, the thing about um, people being in your life at a time and presenting these situations and opportunities to you, um, they really, you know, she might have done a favor to you in a way that you just don't have any perspective to know now. I don't know if you've ever heard that obnoxious What's that country song? Thank God for unanswered prayers. What is that one, dear? He doesn't remember. But really, you never know what would have, might have been that wouldn't have been well had you made that choice. So I think that's everything. And um, yeah, I'll listen to this and see if I'm coherent at all. If I should even send this to you. <laughs> all right, I guess I gotta go. Are we gonna do? Um, because tonight, are we going to do the other one? We got to do the other one or because? This is the one who wants, he says he doesn't like because. What do you mean you don't like because? Engine mount's bad? Engine mount. We got to deal with the car. Okay. See you later, Gamble.